Hi everybody, this is Anna from Studio ACM and today I'm working on part two of my toothless large scale wing tutorial. Today we're doing one of the most important parts of the wing building process, which is to make a muslin. The reason this is one of the most important things is because we don't want to waste our special fabric. Um, now for toothless wings, I'm going to be using this gorgeous faux leather and I don't want to make a mistake cutting into it. I've got some old fabric here that I bought a long time ago and just never got used. It's a black cotton broadcloth. Uh, you may have some old sheets at home that would be perfect for this. Um, so for six first I'm going to take the pattern that we drew yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, last week, and trace it onto my broadcloth. Okay, now that I've got everything traced, I even traced a portion of the frame, I'm going to use that to anchor the piece and give it some stability. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut this out and sew it and then do a full test on the frame and see how it moves. So I went ahead and I sewed along the entire top edge of the pattern that we traced. I also went ahead and sewed outside the, the lines of the frame tracing that we did, leaving open this section here so that we can slide the frame itself in. Now the next step is to actually put it on the frame and see if it covers everything we want it to and how it moves. Okay, so you might have noticed in the muslin test that parts of the wing were droopy, like the shoulder and the very tip of the wing. I'm going to show you how I correct for that. I add in felt. And finally, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see part three. Thank you.